Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Western Digital. So today we have an exciting and fun-packed agenda for you with a, with a really impressive list of speakers. So I'll just jump straight into it. Um, I am Yusuf Jamal. I'm Senior Vice President for the Devices and Platforms Business Unit here at Western Digital. Um, you see some safe harbor <laughs> themes here. I won't read through all the text, but uh, there are a lot of forward-looking statements that that are going to be made here. So this is really the uh, the, the health warning that goes with it. So jumping straight into the agenda. So I'll just take a few moments of your time just to introduce what we're going to be talking about today. And uh, my colleagues here will be talking about the different businesses that they represent, from client to data center to different verticals, the memory technology, and also a lot of the open source initiatives uh, that we have across the company that really build the vision of what is it that Western Digital is doing in, in the storage space. So you will have a very rich set of conversations following up. And then we will have a panel session, which would be about hot topics in storage, and then we'll close the day uh, at the end of that. So let me just jump in in, in, a, in a couple of slides about what is it that's happening really in the world outside. So video, as you all know, is driving a tremendous amount of storage. We have uh, technologies and in infrastructure and ecosystems being shaped by the amount of data that's being generated at these edges that create a lot of information and then have to be, that has to be consumed and the insights that come out of it. Now, on top of it, in addition to those core uh, applications like video, we have a proliferation of uh, endpoints, connected endpoints happening where as the technology is adapting to how we need, how we live in our societies, how our health is, tra is trans transitioning into digital health, how factories are smarting to, uh, transitioning to smart factories, we have these uh, connected endpoints starting to generate more and more amounts of data that we have to consume. Uh, and, and there are estimates that talk about more than 100 zettabytes of data by 2023. That is a combination of all these different factors coming in. And that presents a very rich opportunity space for the whole industry and particularly for, for us here at Western Digital. Uh, and then in addition to all those factors, we have a, a major event that is happening, which is really the rollout of the 5G and the ramp up of the 5G technology. And why is that important? As we start looking at how businesses transform themselves and start to get more insights from the data, just generating data isn't enough. Having the ability to communicate that data at high speeds over wireless uh, and wired communication technologies is a key factor for unlocking the insights that the data provides. So as the 5G wave starts to take off, we'll see more of the insights getting turned into valuable actions for companies, for individuals and businesses that then start to transform the business models that these companies are also participating in. And so a lot of it depends on what is it that we can get out of data? What can we see now that we couldn't see earlier? And this is a great example. Uh, this image was one of the most important images in 2019. And for people not familiar with this in the room, this is the first ever image of the black hole. And this is the power of what data represents. So when we have ability to correct the right amounts of data in the right quantities in the right, and have the right analysis and insight available to it, we can actually start to see what was unseen before. So this was a result from eight radio telescope forming one event horizon telescope that could image something that was uh, impossible. It collected 4.5 petabytes of data over a period of five days and the drives physically had to be flown to a certain place for the data to be processed and the image to be generated. So this is a great example of what data can be used for in order to reveal the insights that are trapped in there, whether it's the company's operational data, whether it's our own health data, whether it's uh, data generated by autonomous vehicles, all of these insights that are trapped in the data, they are the source of value for the businesses moving forward. So as a company that's heavily invested in the space, uh, we have a very strong portfolio breadth from the different type of storage medium to magnetic recording capability to signal processing uh, and all our manufacturing footprint that we have to convert all of these technologies into usable products for our customers. So we have a very strong technology engine that drives the whole company. It's a global scale, 60, more than 65,000 employees worldwide. And there's a tremendous amount of customer value, not just for enterprise customers, but with our strong SanDisk brand also for retail customers. So we have a very broad footprint on both the business to business space, but also the business to consumer space. 
And you can see from the chart here behind me, uh, our portfolio, how it manifests, manifests itself in terms of the products that the customers buy and how as their architectures are evolving, they have the ability to choose and select what form factors and what architectures they want to drive for driving value for their own businesses. And this is nothing new for the company. So we have a heritage, heritage of in, uh, innovation. This is the 50th year for the company. And we have had a long history of innovating on things like magnetic recording, mechanical platforms. Uh, we introduced helium seal drives to the world and then continued the journey with the acquisition of SanDisk. And we, we're intending to take it farther beyond. 